of my biggest fears for Call of Duty is what happens when Krim, you retire, when Seth retires, when Clay oh, retires. This ship Man. fucking sinks. When, it's when gonna the people, it yeah. might sink. It might. <laughs> well, hold on, I hold on. It's it definitely will. will. It definitely <laughs> will. It's sink. gonna hit. It's gonna when take a people big hit. Like that, who have <laughs> had these rivalries <laughs> and. Thing, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let Pat go. Let Pat go. Let Pat go. Hold on, hold on. Go when, ahead, Pat. Go when ahead. The, this entertainment aspect that we've kind of built call of duty on goes away when it isn't about rivalries anymore and it's just about playing call of duty at the highest level simp versus whoever he's playing against at the time i don't see the draw at that point the the appeal for call of duty esports i don't see being there anymore so for for to have a bad title that's just not competitive from the ground up plus not have what because because we we got by before and we'd have a bad title because it was you know Optic and Envy, me and Nade, like those rivalries existed regardless of the title. Where would Nade be without you as a rival? Think about that too. Well, well, he needed well, also, you. Also, what happens when the game is all that we have and the game just isn't good? What, what, what is what does Call of Duty look like then? Because because we still have the brands. That's where the, per the personalities. Overreach. That's right, what it but, has. The personalities. That's all it has. Is the people left but, in it. Scomp and and Krim and uh, even people like you, Doug. That even in challengers, like just people people that have been doing this shit for a long time. It's the only thing left. 